guys, what's up? How's it going? I'm Enrique, and this is Easy Things to Draw 101. Uh, in terms of what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go over three things that can help you learn to draw faster, right? How do you get better faster? And these three things are, in my opinion, the most important things uh, I've ever learned, and I consistently remind myself these three things every single time I draw. I always remind myself these three things, so I think they're super important. If you go through this and you do like them and you agree, hit that like button so I know what to post more of. And uh, thank you so much for following me. In terms of the channel itself, I'm going to be posting every Tuesday and Friday, so look out for that. Otherwise, talk to me on Instagram. I reply to pretty much everybody and we can have a real conversation. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much and let's get into this. First one, you know, for the list here, I would say is uh, identify your weaknesses. Identify what you're weakest at because that is going to be how you improve. For example, if you're really good at drawing people and not drawing, uh, let's say, animals, start drawing animals. You know, to pick an animal per se and try to get that down because different animals have a little bit different structure, obviously. Um, here's an easier one if someone's really bad at drawing, like, um, here's a common one if you're really bad at drawing hands dedicate and let's say you're drawing maybe four times a week five times a week dedicate almost that whole time to drawing hands like really dig into it you know and you're gonna be drawing a lot of bad stuff you know like that's just the way it is when you draw something you're terrible at that's life and go through those get a ream of paper and just start drawing that stuff get it in your muscle memory and start plowing through um, these issues you know uh, figure out how to do that and how to, how to draw them correctly. Um, you know, look at tapes, do all that stuff. But what I'm saying is that you should identify what your weak spots are. If your weak spots are everything, you know what I mean? Um, then, you know, it's, it's a little bit almost, it's crazy, it's almost easier, you know? <laughs> Cause then you can just study anything and you'll get better. But I mean, be really honest with yourself. What, what is something that you are less comfortable drawing? You know, you're very, like that's a big part, your comfort. If you're really uncomfortable drawing that, why? Probably because you're not that good at it, right? And so just go over that, identify that, uh, really pinpoint it and, and el eliminate it, you know, like just practice it like crazy. And, and really dig mo most of your time into that because it will give you a sort of base, if that makes sense. It's not like you're always going to be bad at it if you're like, well, like, why even practice it? You know what I mean? It's just going to be bad later. Like, no, like you can form a pretty strong base for a while and then you can, you know, resurface that info later for a job if you want to study that stuff more. Um, that's up to you, but definitely dedicate most of your time, f find your weaknesses and, and eliminate that. I have a friend, I don't want to say who it is, but he just sticks with the same, uh, comic book Jim Lee style over and over and over again. And he kind of wonders like why he can't draw this or why he can't draw that, you know, why he can't do certain things. Um, he just thinks he has a knack for drawing certain people or in a certain way without getting any better and that's not true he could easily get better he just had and he just kind of avoids it it's almost like you're that's how people stay in the same spot for years is not identifying what your weakest points are and working on them please remember that um number two be patient you know be patient with the process i know that for me uh, you know i'm that kind of person that's like hey i want to finish this already and get it out of the way and i'm like wow that's a terrible way to look at it <laughs> If you're doing something you like, you don't, you never want to be like, oh, I want to get this thing out of the way and done, get it over. I mean, obviously I want to get stuff done, right, for projects, but I don't want to get it like out of the way, like I don't like it, you know? So just kind of be patient with the amount of time stuff takes and just always imagine it taking longer than it would, you know? Uh, that's what I do and if something I think is going to take me like a day. I think like, well, I may, I'll give it like a couple of days, you know, see, see what I come up with, you know, but you have to be patient with the process of drawing. It is a slow one, you know, it can, it can be very slow, but it also, it can be pretty quick sometimes if you, if you put that many hours into it and you figured out how to, how to get the best out of it. 
but I'm assuming I'm talking to you because you're a beginner and you want to get better, you know, as fast as you can. But and that's kind of almost counterintuitive, right? You want to be, you want to uh, get better, but at the same time, you know, you kind of like be patient, which in, you know, in my experience, usually means a little being calmer and slower. Um, and I've told this story before. It was uh, I had, had a teacher in LA, and he designed. I think he designed the some of the Terminators from Terminator Salvation, like some of their designs, and some of the Transformers in the third movie, I believe. And uh, he was he goes super slow. I mean, like, like you know, oh, you know, this, like you're moving your hands slow. He would go really slow, but he'd finish all his jobs on time. And what he told me was that. The only reason that was that way is because he didn't he didn't go in and have to correct any mistakes. He literally just went in very precisely and would hit a lot of stuff in the first couple of times, you know. Just kind of going slower, being patient, picking your shots. And I know that that old phrase I have in another video. It's the it's something from the military, right? It's from the snipers. It's uh, fast. Fat, oh, I'm sorry. Fast is smooth and smooth is slow, I believe. Or I might have messed that up. Fast is smooth and smooth is slow. You know? Uh, if I messed that up, let me know. <laughs> but the idea is that, you know, you're going carefully. And that ultimately turns into less time committed to it. You know? Anyways, that is the second one. The third one is... And this one's a big one, and I've seen this a lot recently, is love what you're doing. You know what I mean? If you don't love what you're doing, learn to love what you're doing. Really see, like, wow, this is cool. You know, like, I'm like what am I drawing? Like a street shark? Oh, man, a street shark. Yeah, I mean, I, obviously, I picked it beforehand because I like it. But if you have, like, a job you don't want to do, just be like, wow, it's so awesome. Really see what's fascinating in it. And I have seen this a lot recently. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. So there is a friend I have. And she draws a little bit for hobby. Not much. But she is a horse fanatic. She has horses in her house. Uh, like in her house. Wow. And, you know, she owns horses. <coughs> you know, she rides them. She does them for competition. Stuff like that. There's some up. She loves them. And her drawings in general across the, across the bar are not good. They're, they're just kind of, eh, you know, they're kind of weird. They're very in like super ultra beginner, which is fine. You know, that's where she's at. But her horse drawings are near photographic. And I, that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> they are near photographic. And the reason for that is she loves horses. You know, and when you look at her people drawings, they're like, eh. You know, they're just kind of scratchy pieces of garbage. I mean, sorry, you know, if she's watching this. Um, but her horses are photographic, and why is that? It's because she takes a massive, massive interest in that, and she just goes slowly, every little curve of the mane or whatever, you know, the any of that stuff, she goes slow and carefully, and she is so, uh, you know, careful with that stuff because she loves it. Take an interest in it. When you take an interest in something, you show a lot more details and you'll put a lot more details and it, it really will translate. And it's kind of one of those things I only, I mean, I kind of always knew that, but it's, uh, I think one of the keys to moving on to the next level, in my opinion, because I've seen so many people change their drawing, just kind of doing that, taking an active interest, like, wow, this is so neat. Oh my God. You know, like, Obviously, there's there's the other part of it, you know, the putting on the skill and you know learning to actually draw. But uh, I, that could be a mind shift that helps you because for for sure that helps me, you know, um, a lot. Especially when I have to work on a job I don't like, and I'm like, oh no, I have to do this, you know, Ugh. you know, I have to be like, no, this is cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of a job I hated. Um, so you know, if you're the person that commissioned me, I apologize, but <laughs> there was a job I did. It was an album cover. And the album cover was, I think it was a something on the beach with a bunch of like doors on a beach. And I remember thinking, wow, I don't want to do this. This is so lame. The subject matter is so boring. <laughs> but I had to pull whatever was in me and, and really just be like, wow, this is great. 
you know? And I, this is really cool, the sand, the grains of sand on the beach. There's doors in the beach, look at the message on that, you know, the, the wood lining of the door, and you know, what what's going on there, that's amazing. And you know, I had to, you know, you're almost like doing a self-hypnosis on yourself, and, and, it, and it is, it will become genuine, you know? You really feel it, you feel the, whoa, this is cool to do. And you will take your time to start putting the details in. So, same thing with uh, another friend of mine. She loves drawing women, and her women are amazing. You know, she does great stuff, and it's like, it, but her women are especially detailed. You know, more so than the men. Um, it's almost like a joke. It almost looks like it was drawn by a different person. So, show that active interest in whatever you're doing. Uh, you know, if you have to meditate on it, do that. But you know, really find what you're doing awesome. Really enjoy it and figure out how to enjoy it. Um, if you want, maybe maybe one day I'll make like a video how to enjoy what you're doing, you know? <laughs> but, uh, you know, for now, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And thank you so much. Also, if you are looking to improve your art through like getting eBooks, through uh, instruction by me, I actually, uh, I will, I have a Patreon, and on the Patreon, what I end up doing on, on a certain uh, tier, I actually, I look through a certain amount of your drawings, and I give you an overall assessment, and I tell you what your weaknesses are so that you can work on them. And I'll even give you some exercises on what to do, but you can do that. That's on my Patreon if you're interested at all in getting better at art, and you can get better at it permanently, like I'm saying. You can really form that base, you know, so you can just draw all this stuff in your sketchbook a lot better like these cool sketchbooks that you buy out in the store or store at comic-con or anything like that if you want to be anything like those people and you really want to improve it uh you know hit me up uh also you can also talk to me on instagram just straight up you can just straight up talk to me i don't know if i'd give you exactly you know what you need per se but i, I will i'm always down to chat i'm very easy to contact so talk to you soon